Welcome to Watch of the Week here on K-Spec. This is a series of brief reviews and previews of recently introduced timepieces. It's not a commercial, so you will hear my unfiltered reaction, my unfiltered opinion. And our guest in this week is... I think I can speak for many people when I say the watch alone is not enough. We want context, history, heritage, brand value, feeling connected to the piece. And so one of the most interesting releases of these days is the new edition by Swatch. In cooperation with the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, Swatch introduced a series of six watches inspired by famous paintings. The watches come for both sexes in 34 and 41 millimeters, quartz pieces of course, and it's not the easiest task to figure out which watch follows which painting. It's a wild mix of old classics and modern influences. And so let's make a quick tour. Starry Night, painted 1889 by Vincent van Gogh, one of the most famous artists of the world. The painting itself is not perfect to be reduced on such a small item like a watch. But you see that they adopted the colors and more important the brush strokes. Very realistically, you almost have to fear to get blue while wearing that watch. Next painting is Hope 2 by Gustav Klimt, created 1907 and 1908 as a vibrant masterpiece of Art Nouveau. Pregnant woman, almost brutal contrasts and colors which made the job for the watch designer relatively easy. The watch of course cannot display this tension between desperation and colorized insanity. Wow, I'm sounding like an art professor here. If you like this style, then use the Google image search for Klimt. These women were his favorite subject and he created some great tensions with rather hard faces and then gold and red in elegant and mysterious forms. Here you see now the dream by Henri Rousseau, painted in 1910 and so in an era when Impressionism has lost ground. Instead using small dots or points of colors, artists like Rousseau wanted to go back to clearer forms. You already can see there some elements of comic art which came then roughly 10 years later. And that's a cheerful watch, I mean note the hands. Our next painting is the composition in Oval with Color Planes 1, created 1914 by Piet Mondrian. So our first example here of abstract art. And during this time I think the abstractation for the artist was some sort of freedom, away from rules, dogmas and the academy. And you find this type of painting in many forms from that time. One of the most famous example is the black square by the Russian artist Malevich. But black wouldn't be good for a swatch and so here is the result inspired by Mondrian. And now we have two pieces made in the 60s by Tadanori Yoku, a Japanese artist. This is pop art influenced by music, comic culture and to a certain extent by the traditional Japanese art. Very approachable, very popular. Pieces like this here are some sort of blueprint for an entire style. You find them in many other environments on other products and certainly not only in the museum. Question now, what's your favorite here? Hard decision, right? I think in my case the Klimt and Van Gogh. I love the Rousseau painting with all those leaves and animals, but I hate the hands of that watch. And so please let me know in the comments which one you would pick. Note that you have a good excuse now. Remember your partner that you're not just buying the next watch, you are investing into art. The MoMA has already some watches in its collection and this of course affects prices. So maybe it's not a bad idea to buy one or two of those watches here and just put them in the safe. And don't worry about quartz movements. I think a Swatch is the only watch next to the Casio calculator which should be quartz. Available are all these watches from March the 4th online and in boutiques. Okay, that's all for now. See you next Monday to Watch of the Week here on Caseback.